Okay, so as part of this series, I'm going to be looking at some of the hardest questions that have come up in GCSE maths. And in particular, this this uh, set of videos is all non-calculator focus. And interestingly, this one that was from June 2022, when the people who were doing their A-levels in June 2024, they had a question very similar to this in their A-level paper. So let's have a look at this one that we've got. So it's a very challenging circles problem. It's a non-calculator one, and it's from June 2022. So it says here that the diagram shows three circles, each of radius four centimetres. The centres of the circles are A, B and C such that A, B and C is in a straight line and A, B is equal to B, C is equal to four centimetres. Well, obviously it's going to be four centimetres because these are all radius or radii of the circle that we've got. All of those distances are going to be four centimetres. Work out the total area of the two shaded regions. Give your answer in terms of pi. Now, it is a non-calculator one that we've got here. So let's think about a strategy. And there's lots of different ways of approaching this. This is just kind of how I would think about this. I'm not going to do it with two shaded regions. I'm going to start off doing it with one shaded region, just looking at this one at the top. And then at the end, I'm going to double my answer. So the way I see this is it looks to me like I have a sector of a circle. OK, it looks like I've got a sector of a circle, this whole thing that I've got here. And from that sector of the circle that we've got, which I'm going to draw out here, it looks like I am removing two of these kind of shapes that we've got like this, two of those sorts of bits that I'm going to shade here in black. So let me get rid of that bit. I'm going to try and find out what the area of those black parts are, and I'm going to subtract them from it. So first of all, let's have a look at the sector area. Now, the sector area should be pretty intuitive about how much of a circle that this is. Even looking at the diagram, because we know, and maybe I'll draw some extra lines on, because we know that all of these bits are some radius or radii here, these are equilateral triangles, right? So because it's an equilateral triangle, that must mean that all of these angles are 60 degrees. So that must mean this one is 60 degrees, this one is 60 degrees, this one is 60 degrees. In other words, it is one sixth of the circle. So if I work out the area of this sector, it is going to be one sixth of the area, which is pi times the radius squared. So it's going to be a sixth times pi. The radius of the circle is four, so it's going to be four squared. So I have a sixth times pi times 16. Well, the 16 over six, 16 over six simplifies to eight over three. So I have it as eight over three pi that we've got. Okay, now my next challenge is to try and find the area of this little black shape that we've got here. Well, I know something, right? I know that this area that we've just talked about is the same as this area, including that black bit that we've got. So I also know, as well as this original sector here being 8 over 3 pi, that the part I've just highlighted in yellow is 8 over 3 pi. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and find out the area of the triangle. And then I can subtract that from the area of the sector. And that should give me what the area of the black part is. So I'm now going to find out the area of the triangle. Now, the area of a triangle, I'd say the easiest way to do this is just my half A, B, sine C. A and B are like this part and this part, and then this is the C angle that we've got here. Well, we know that A and B are both 4 and 4. And we know that the C angle, well, I've got it up here at 60 degrees, right? So it's sine of 60. So we have a half times 4 times 4. Okay, well, a half times four is two, and two times four is eight, so I have the eight for this first section. And then sine 60, that's one that you should memorize. Sine 60 is root three over two. So eight times root three over two. Well, the eight and the divide by two gives me a four, so I get four root three. So now, if I want to find out the area of this little black section that we've got here, that kind of curved bit, the area of this is going to be equal to the area of the sector minus the area of the triangle. And so the area of the sector was 8 over 3 pi, and the area of the triangle was 4 root 3. So you can see why this is an incredibly challenging question. 
So now if I want to find out the area of one of these shaded bits, it's the area of the sector minus two of those black pieces. So I'm going to say one of the shaded is equal to the area of the sector minus two lots of the area of the, the black shape that I've just worked out on the previous line. So area of sector is 8 over 3 pi. That was up here. And now I'm going to subtract 2 lots of 8 over 3 pi minus 4 root 3. So expanding those brackets, that's 8 over 3 pi minus 16 over 3 pi plus 8 root 3. It's a plus because of the fact we have a minus here and we have a minus here, so it becomes a plus. So I'll start with the 8 root 3. So I have my 8 root 3. And then just think of the fractions here. I have 8 over 3 minus 16 over 3. 8 minus 16 is minus 8. So we have minus 8 over 3 pi for that part. Now that was only for one of the set one of the shaded things. So if I want two shaded areas, which is basically the total area, all I need to do is double that answer. So it's going to be two lots of 8 root 3 minus 8 over 3 pi, which gives me 16 root 3 and two lots of 8 over 3 is 16 over 3 pi for this question. Incredibly challenging question. Now there probably are other ways of breaking this shape down. My technique was to see it as a sector and to remove this little black section that we've got here. And I knew the area of this sector. I found the black section by removing the triangle. I then removed both of those black sections from one of them. And because it wanted it for two shaded regions, so I'm going to get rid of that bit now. I at the end doubled my answer. Let's double check that I did get it right. So we have the 16 root 3 minus 16 over 3 pi. There are loads and loads of different ways of doing this one. So I don't know if this mark scheme is particularly helpful, but I hope my approach was good like this. And if you did the exam in June 2024, you might have done this one in June 2022. You will have had two questions very similar, one in year 11 and one in year 13. So I hope that these um, challenging questions are helpful to kind of remind you of some little bits. Um, and I will see you in another video soon where we're going to be looking at some indices.